What's up you guys? John McLennan here and welcome to episode 6 of Inside the Solo. Today's episode is on a song called Black Magic Woman by Carlos Santana. Let's check it out. Here's the solo isolated. <laughs> So that's pretty epic. We've got a lot of sort of blues bending and pentatonic lines in the key of D minor, but we're going to actually start before this. We're going to start in the intro part. It sounds like this. Okay, so that first lick is going to be over a D minor chord, and we're going to start with our third finger on the eighth fret of the B string. And we're going to do a pull-off to six. And you can actually hear Carlos Santana turn his volume up like... Listen. So before pedal boards and all these things that we have now, we would use, you know, our, the guitar volume to control the amount of gain. Check this out. More gain. And then the second line. So this part is a little slide now on the G string from the seventh fret to the ninth fret, and then back. So together we've got. So what that is right there is now instead of just a pull-off, it's a hammer pull-off. So you're going to start with your first finger on six of the B string, do a hammer, and then a pull-off. Real quick, like this. And then you play that second string again, and then slide with your second finger on the G string, seven, nine again, like we did on the previous leg. kind of goes that note in there, the second string note. Now we get into some octaves. So this you can break into little sections. Here's the first part. And I'm going to use what's called hybrid picking. So I'm playing with a flat pick and I'm going to play one note with the flat pick, and then I'm going to use my middle finger of my picking hand to grab the second string. So I'm going to be pinching like this. I'm going to play first finger on the D string, 7th fret, and then fourth finger on the B string, 10th fret. So they should actually be an octave apart, so not like this but I've got two frets between my fingers, see that? And then I'll pinch, pick on this fourth string, middle finger on the second string. And then I'll move it down two frets. So, and after I do the pinch, I let go of the note. So it's, it's not holding it, but it's actually more staccato. And then the slide there. I go up one string and play octaves. Now I'm on the A string, 8th fret, and the G string, 10th fret. And then slide from the 8th eighth, eighth fret, both fingers are going to go down one fret to the 7th fret. 7 and 9. So 8 and 10 to 7 and 9. So I've got all together. We got another lick, and that goes. We're kind of 
kind of just actually working our way down a D minor scale. So now we're going to go back to the D string 5th fret and B string 8th fret. Then up one string to the A string 8th fret, G string 10th fret. And then uh, move down one fret and slide it two frets. So all together. And again, staccato, staccato, hold the note. So all together. You can hear Santana, it's like the, the tuning or the intonation is a little... You hear the octaves there. <laughs> it's crazy how many guitars, when you pull up the isolated tracks, they're actually like really out of tune, but in the track it sounds amazing. We do the same thing again. So, dun, 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 so, and then, dun, dun. this time we don't do the slide, so we go, and then you go to a D minor chord. going to be just your stock D minor bar chord at the 10th fret, 10, 12, 12, 10, 10, 10. And you just slowly pick each string. Right here, ready? Now we're into the classic theme here, right? And this, oh, this guitar is just so, it just pulls on my heart. It's like, the bends, so good. So how you play that lick is you go... And there's a lot of just this floating sort of bending and you're gonna start with your first finger on the E string, 10th fret. You play that note, then you put your third finger on the B string, 13th fret. So, then you lift it up. So, you do a pre-bend. A whole step, 13 whole step bend, pre-bend. And let it down. And then you do a little pull off to 10 on the B string. And then bend again on the 13th fret B string. So all together. Let's listen. And then you'll notice how he holds this note and then just falls off. Check it out. <laughs> okay. So how you do that is you bend the 13th fret, you're holding it, and then you just let it down like... And then you, you do a little pull off, sort of like a ghost note, to the 10th fret B string. So you're bending, you fall off, and then you just let let it off to that note on the first finger there. And that, that's one of the things I love about this solo is all these nuances of bent. It's almost like a Hendrixy kind of floating thing. Next lick. So that goes. So bending on 13 again um, on the B string. And then you walk down 10 on the first string, 13 on the second string, 10 on the second string. So da da da. Da da da. That's like pentatonic scale. And then you play 12 on the G string. And then you bend it up, another pre-bend. So a lot of pre-bending and then falling. And then you do, after the pre-bend, you fall off, pull off, slide. And that is a great 
line right there ending on the ninth of the scale. You know, if you got a D minor chord or the key of D minor, and then you have the ninth, so you'll notice that it's like pentatonic, and then add this note, which is something that I call the hexatonic scale. And it's basically a minor pentatonic scale with the added ninth. And this is secrets of Santana, Clapton, so many great players use this scale. So. And then that note stays ringing. Okay, so the nine is ringing. So what that is, is sliding back up nine on the G string, 10, then come down to the B string, 10th fret, 13th fret. Again, uh, this is like a D minor nine. Great little lick. So then you're on the, the first string, 12th fret, and then you do a pull off from 13, 12, 10, all on the E string. So, before you do the pull off, you play this, and then. Okay, and then after the pull off, the. So that's going to be 13, 13, pull off to 12, pull off to 10, and then bend 13 on the B string. And that's like, sort of really milking that note, bend it up. So it goes up and then it comes down and then it goes up again. And then it falls off that typical kind of fall off we've been doing to the first finger on the 10th fret. So that. All right, next lick. So we'll break this into little pieces. So the first part is just. Okay, so that's going to be 13 on the B string, bend, and then 10, 13, 10. So, 10 on the first string, 13 on the second string, 10 on the second string. So this is uh, a bend on the third string, 12th fret. This time you hear it go up and down. Pull off to 10, and then 12 on the D string. But I don't think he plucks that note. I think it's just, just sort of like, it's like a Hendrix kind of thing, actually. Where you just do these fall offs. And, and so pluck pull off, and then you just sort of hammer down there to get that note without plucking it. It's almost like you can barely hear it. Now he does a nice G minor arpeggio. So this would be third finger on the 12th fret of the G string second finger on the 11th fret of the B string, and then first finger on the 10th fret of the E string. So, it's a little G minor triad. And then you play 12, 13, and bend. So. Woo! So good. Now this is a real bluesy lick here. So that's going to be 15 
on the first string, we're gonna bend up a whole step, and then up, down, and then pull off to, to 13 on the E string. And then after that, you play the second string, 15th fret, then E string, 13th fret. So. Like this. Then we got a real high note. And there's almost like some sort of delay that. Hear the delay that comes in right there? Now that's gonna be the 17th fret bend. like he pops that note with his finger so you may be using your pick and then again just like earlier the hybrid picking we bring in that middle finger and go so this last phrase so after you do the high bend you kind of end it here back down on 10, E string. And then, so that's gonna be third, or third string, 12th fret. And that's a pull up, uh, bend up, pull off, back to a hammer. And then you play your first finger on the 10th fret B string. So, then back to 12, 10, 12, 10, 12. do blues scale. So this is going to be on the A string. 12, 11, 10, slide. And then you have just a D minor chord. I play this on the top four strings starting from the D string. I'm going to play 12, 10, 10, 10 and just go kind of throw that Sounds like he slides up into it and then away. All right, if you made it to the end of this video, good job. Thanks for watching. I really hope you learned something. I'm really just trying to share some of my experience learning these solos and breaking them down and, and just inspiring people to play more guitar. So, Click the link below if you want to get a free PDF that I wrote. It's a 93-page book on soloing called Melodic Expressions. It's got licks over major, minor, and dominant chords. Great things for you to practice. And don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you like this video. And you can also follow along with me on Instagram at John McLennan. Check out my other videos as well. There's lots of free videos on my YouTube channel that are going to help you get better at playing guitar. And Inside the Solo is a cool new series that we're looking at guitar solos that have moved the world. All right, I'm John McLennan. We'll see you next time.